starting off I'm taking Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow on my Sigma blending brush um, and I'm blending this into the crease of my eye using windshield wiper motions and then once I've done that I kind of do like little circles to blend up towards the eyebrow. I'm applying um, a lot of it on the outer corner as well um, and then whatever's left on my brush I just kind of run under my lower lashes just to kind of prep for the um, shadows we'll put there later on. Then I'm taking this pretty green shade from the Sleek um, Makeup Ultra Matte Version 1 palette and blending this also into the crease. I'm going to build up the intensity as I go along. This is a very pigmented shadow but um, a little really does go a long way so just start off by applying a little and then keep blending using using your other brush just until you like how it looks then I'm taking this kind of like more turquoisey greeny bluey shade it's really pretty um, and I'm blending this into the crease also I'm taking a tapered blending brush to do this this is from crown brush um, I will have it linked down below along with a discount code but um, I'm gonna blend that out using the same brush I used to apply that green shade and then once I'm kind of satisfied with all the blending shadows, I'm taking my concealer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 1.5. Um, this is the concealer I used to carve out my brows, but honestly any concealer will do. The drier the concealer, the better. This one is quite um, like really creamy, so yeah, just be very careful with it and try not to open your eyes because as you can see it kind of transferred a little bit. Then I'm taking the shade called um, Thrash from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, applying that to the inner corner and then I'm going to go in the middle with a shade called Freak. Um, I'm just creating like a nice kind of transition shade, like transition gradient, whatever you want to call it, with a bunch of different greens. This is like a darker green from the Neve Cosmetics Scurizmi Palette. I did do a tutorial with this palette ages and ages and ages ago, so I'll link that down below if you want to see. This is a really nice palette to have if you just want some like really intense and like metallic shadows, it's really nice. Sorry that the um, lens is a bit blurry here, I didn't realise that I'd gone out of focus. Um, so I'm blending that all together and then I'm applying a Lucky Clover to my brow bone from the Moonchild palette for like an interesting eyebrow highlight. Blending that in and then I'm taking the Forest Green Eyeliner from Nude by Nature. I didn't want to apply a black liner for this look just because I'm getting kind of bored of black liner at the moment. Um, so I just applied this green eyeliner and then I kind of smudged it out using the smudger that comes on the other side. This just kind of adds some shadow to the lashes without being too overbearing. Then I curled my lashes with my very grubby eyelash curler and applied a generous coat of mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. Then for lashes, I'm taking the Coco Lashes Goddess Lashes. These are my new favourite thing. I freaking love them. And I made this huge mistake here. Smudge mascara all over my eye. I'm such a klutz. I let it dry for a little bit, stuck the lashes on, and then like wiped off with a cotton bud and then like re-blended the eyeshadow and everything was fine. So if that happens to you, just let it dry and then wipe it off with a cotton bud. Then for primer, I'm taking my favourite L'Oreal True Match primer and rubbing this all into my skin for a nice kind of luminous summer glow. I love this stuff, absolutely love it. Um, yeah, just blend this into my skin, it makes a really good primer as well. Then for foundation, as you can see I'm a lot paler in this video than usual just because I'm going on my trip soon and I'm going to fake tan right before so I'm just embracing the paleness at the moment. But the foundation that I have that's pale is this, um, I think it's called Warm Ivory, it's the Stick to Flawless foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Photographs beautifully but um, doesn't last that long on me just because I'm really oily and I don't really get along with stick foundations. But I definitely recommend it if you have like normal skin you know okay then I'm gonna contour and I'm taking this um, concealer stick from Avon I've forgotten the shade name but I will link it down below when I write up the description box later on I'm just contouring around my temples my cheekbones down my nose you know the drill being a little bit more like careful with my nose contour because I just wanted it to look good you know under my lip and then all along that jawbone and under my chin to kind of like give the illusion that I have a sculpted jaw, sculpted jaw. Then I'm taking this really cool like contour brush from Sigma, it's got like a round tip to it, it's really cool and it's really good for blending out contour. Um, so yeah, as you can see it's quite a big difference like in the colour um, of my face compared to the concealer but 
once it, I have the other concealer on all the powder and everything it looks absolutely fine so don't worry about that so blending out the contour shade using the brush then for concealer I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20 um, I'm applying this to my face um, anywhere that I'd usually highlight so under my eyes in a triangle shape on my um, Cupid's bow, down my nose, on the middle of my forehead, you know, the drill. I've seen this a thousand times, you know, you know, you know what to do, make those eyes look nice and bright. Um, yeah, and it's really good as well, like, just to sculpt out that kind of, like, outer corner of my eye as well. And then I use the tip of the brush just to do down the centre of my nose, on my forehead you know, make the nurse and bright. Um, yeah, like it is such a contrast compared to the concealer shade, but I find that like once you blend everything out and apply powder, it does look so much nicer. I'm applying it down the sides of my lips, not so much to highlight, but just because I've got a lot of like spot situations going on there at the moment, and this will just kind of blend in together. Then I'm going to blend everything out using a damp um, beauty sponge. This one is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I love this, super cheap. So my camera just cut out and I don't know where it stopped recording, but I'm applying some cream highlighter. This one is from Topshop, it's the Gleam um, Glow Pot. It smells delicious and it is delicious. Um, I don't rec recommend that you eat it, but anyway, I'm applying this to my cheekbone, the top of my lip, and I'm blending it out using a, the, uh, lost my words, the damp sponge from Real Techniques, then I'm taking the Gleam Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm mixing the gold and the kind of like whitey, silvery shade, then I'm going to set the rest of my face using the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, my favourite, I've never found a better powder than this and for three pounds you can't really go wrong. So I'm just going to set that all into place then I'm going in with the Sleek Makeup Contour Kit, this is in the shade Light and I'm going to contour those cheekbones. See what I mean, like now my face like doesn't look that much of a massive contrast, like I've applied all the powder and stuff so if you've applied like a contour product and it looks a bit crazy just keep going and I promise you you'll look fine. Then yep just contouring and those cheekbones, getting rid of my double chin, you know, contouring that away. Stay away! Da -da 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 -da. And then whatever's left on the brush just kind of take down the sides of my nose, just to add some shape. Then I'm taking the MAC Emphasize Pro Powder, applying this under my eyes in a triangle shape, the exact same place that I put the highlight. Then whatever's left on the brush after I've applied it under my eyes, um, I'll apply it on the, my forehead, down my nose, and then on my chin just to round everything off. Then I'm applying a lot of bronzer, this is the NYX um, Matte Body Bronzer, applying it all over my face pretty much, um, and then I'm going in with the Core de Rosa blush from Sigma. This is a really pretty like neutral brush blush that goes with like, pretty much every look. And then once that's been applied, I'm going ahead and like copying the same eyeshadow look that I've got on the top of the lid, so that thrash colour on the inner corner followed by Freak, and then from the Neve Cosmetics um, palette the darker green on the outer corner then I'm going in with this um, eyeliner that I used on my lash line earlier for my inner rim and then I'm applying a bit of that Lucky Clover shade to the inner corner of my eye and then setting my brows into place and kind of like getting rid of any excess powder residue that may have gone into my brows then I'm going to finish off the look by applying some mascara to my lower lashes I wanted quite like big lashes for this big fluffy voluminous lashes you know I keep saying you know today I'm not really too sure why um, and then I'm gonna apply some highlighter this is that Lucky Clover shade from the Moonchild palette I just wanted to add a little bit more of that green then I'm going to apply my lip liner this is Max Boldly Bare lip liner this is like the most amazing lip liner ever, I love it. Then I'm going in with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton Liquid Lipstick. I haven't used this in a tutorial yet and I absolutely love this colour. Um, I went massive on my lips today and like didn't really realise and they look huge and I love it. This is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial so much I did filming it. I'm so glad to be back filming. I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!